Welcome to The John Show. I am The John Show. I apologize for the fact that it's been so long since I've come out with a new episode, but I've been really busy, and I'm going to go ahead and apologize in advance because I don't have an opening for this show. Now, I know the majority of you tune in just for the opening because, really, who cares about the guests? It's all about me. Um, but I just haven't had the time to come up with one. And I know you're saying, but John, it's been like three months. How do you not come up with something? Well, you see, the fact is, for the first four shows, I had my entire life to come up with those openings. And three months just really isn't enough time. It's not like any other talk show where they have writers and directors. I do everything. I edit it. I'm filming right now. And it's pretty difficult. It's very straining. I've been sick lately. I've been working a lot. Halloween's coming up. Uh, my birthday's on Sunday, I'm turning 22, and, you know, it's just a lot going on. So, to the six people that watch the show, I'm sorry that I don't have a better opening. Um, give me, like, four years, and I'll have another opening. So, if you can just hold tight, um, I promise that we'll have a good episode. Um, we got a long-time friend on the show, so it's gonna be good. Um, so we'll go ahead and get him introduced. Well, again, welcome to The John Show. I hope you enjoy the, the theme for the evening. And we'll go ahead and bring my guest out. The special guest for tonight is Mr. Steve Woolley. Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> well, welcome for... to the show. Whoa, thanks for having me. You know, you were the first person to ask to be on the show. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. I was excited. I got to see I'm one of the six subscribers, so... Um... Well, I'm one of the other ones, too, and my wife's one, so there's really, like, three people out there that... Oh, well... So, still, three fans, yeah, I mean, yeah. you gotta start somewhere. Yeah, yeah. Um, but you asked to be on the show, and we'll go ahead and get this out of the way. Sure. And we can talk about it again later. But you wanted to come promote yes. something. Yes, yes. And what are you wanting to promote? Uh, I'm wanting to promote uh, starting Thursdays in November. <clears throat> okay. Starting November 5th, Thursdays at 8 o'clock. At the Tilted Kilt. Where's that at? In Arnold, Missouri. Okay. 131 Arnold Cross Road. Oh, yeah, I know exactly where that is. Center. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, matter of fact, it's right off, uh, it's there at the, the corner of Jeffco and 141, yeah. so you can't miss it. Definitely. And uh, we're going to be, uh, I'll be doing an acoustic show. Okay. Um, one of the first musicians that they've uh, they brought into the Tilted Kilt. Congratulations. Kilts. Thank you very much. Um, they got good food. They have great food. Great drinks. Very excellent drinks. Uh, and kilts. Now, are they traditional and not have anything underneath the kilts? Or? Oh, I don't know. You know, I think the, uh, I think the, the health Actually, department I think might you have... have to come to find out. <laughs> we won't ruin the surprise. But uh, the, uh, the characters at the Tilted Kilt uh, are... Uh, they're, uh, they're definitely... Uh, they're dressed interesting. So it's definitely worth uh, coming out and seeing. Now, is there a cover charge? No cover charge. Mm -hmm. It's uh, free admission. Come in, um, grab some food, grab some drinks. Like I said, the show starts at eight, um, run to ten, maybe longer if it, it uh, if things go well. Um, it's just it's going to be a really good time. Okay. Uh, so yeah, so Thursday nights. Uh, so we'll do the fifth, the twelfth, the nineteenth, and then, and then Thanksgiving Eve. No. Yes. You're not. Yes. Yes. Steve! Oh, my God. The Tilted Kilt has allowed me to come in to throw a uh, Thanksgiving Eve party. So, again, that show will start at 8 o'clock. That'll be on Thanksgiving Eve. That'll be Wednesday, the 25th. That show is going to be out of control. It is going to be out of control. Like I said, I don't know I don't know what's going to happen with the kilts then. Biggest but, yeah. party night of the year. It is the biggest party night of the year. It's bigger than New Year's. A lot of people think it's New Year's. No, it's no. bigger than New Year's. It's bigger than, than than Christmas Eve parties or anything like that. It's bigger than. Uh, it's bigger than St. Patrick's Day. Yes, everything. Imagine all of those nights rolled into one. And it doesn't even meet halfway. No. Thanksgiving Eve. Thanksgiving Eve is going to be wild, and especially if you're in the South County area, it's one of the most hip happening places coming up. It's a nice place. Um, the, the the atmosphere is great. The food's great. The drinks are great. The 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 the, the staff is great. So. Come on out, check out the show. That is very exciting. Very good. I can't, uh, I can't wait. So, 
Excellent. <laughs> so let's just start in the beginning. Yes. We actually went to high school together. Yes. In big ol' Sullivan, Missouri. Yes. Now, we were not in the same grade. No. But <clears throat> going into high school, we knew who you were right. from your brother, Eric. Who had has uh, was uh, in everyone's grade, I believe. Yeah, he was driving the bus to school in eighth grade <laughs> by the end of it. It's just like... He was changing oil in study hall. <laughs> <laughs> You got homework, Eric? Well, I gotta, you know, I gotta rotate bus tires. 18. <laughs> gotta go out there, you know, if you need me, I guess. Uh, so. Yeah. so we we knew your brother, Eric, and we somehow, in ninth grade, had lunch with you. I think you were a junior. Yeah. yeah. So we had lunch with you, and somehow we ended up at the same table. And my first interaction with you yeah. is when you ruined <laughs> eating a girl out. Now, at that point... I have never been with a woman. I know it's hard to believe that a 14-year-old John hadn't had sex yet. But I hadn't. I mean, I had seen plenty of movies. I knew what was going on. And I don't know how it got brought up, but you said... <laughs> Do you remember what you said? I, I know exactly what I said. I said, well, of course I thought I was just, you know... Well, compared, you know, I'd had like maybe... Two sexual encounters, and you know, which the, was two more than the, any of us had. So. <laughs> so, so I'm of course I'm the expert at the table on this. So I described it as um, eating a deep fried donut. Um, it's good, but sometimes it can leave a it can, <laughs> it can leave a, a uh, leave a greasy feeling on the roof of your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> now I know you. Oh, donuts. That's not so bad, and it. And, <laughs> Hearing it now doesn't sound so bad, but I believe it went further than that. Because I just remember leaving the table thinking how disgusting that has to be, and the smell's got to be terrible, and whatever. And so I eventually moved to Cape Girardeau, yeah. and when I finally got to encounter my first lady experience, before I went down on her, I just remember being like, you popped into my head. Which is what everybody wants to think about when they're getting ready to make out with a chick. Right. And I was just like, this is going to suck. <laughs> and it this, did. It turned out badly. I it didn't... was, I cannot express to you how terrible that experience was. It's like, I don't know if it was, if it was actually smelled that bad or just you put in my head that it was going to be that terrible. I, I, I literally, a five seconds and I was dry heaving. <laughs> You know how much of a fucking good actor you gotta be to play off dry heaving when you're going down on the chick? <laughs> Did you win a Grammy? <laughs> or an Emmy? <laughs> well, if anybody knew me at that time, I I uh, I said I don't think God wants me to do this. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she was like, "Yeah, that's probably okay." And, uh, yeah, so I just wanted to thank you. For uh, uh, ruining that for me. Uh, well, probably. Uh... On the bright side, you didn't ruin blowjobs. Love those. <laughs> so I guess I can thank you for that. Uh, yeah. So, yes, we went to high school together for a little bit, and then I moved away. Right. And then after I graduated, I moved back to Sullivan. Hadn't seen you in three years, probably. Probably your oldest acquaintance. Yeah, probably three years, and. I came back. I graduated half a semester before everyone else in my that I grew up with. Yeah. So I moved back to Sullivan, moved in with Jerry Offenkamp. Right. And they had to film something for drama class. And yes. we did the Phantom Pooper, Pooper. Yeah. which was the Jeremy Hawkins story when he shit his pants at Sudsies. <laughs> <laughs> and and, and, uh, and uh, washed out his underwear in the sink and folded them up and put them in his pocket. So if anybody from Sullivan is watching this, <laughs> you probably still to this day do not want to use the bathroom at Sudsies. I mean... I, can you use the bathroom at Sudsies? They probably don't even have a bathroom now. They even have a Sudsies? <laughs> I haven't been to Sullivan uh, in a long time. I don't know. Lydia's shaking her head. Do they not have a Sudsies? If anymore? someone can confirm um, that... That would be great. An email would be sufficient. 